NASA researchers are going to create the coldest place in the known universe, USA, U wait, why are we doing that? Anthony Carboni here for D News, and I am not gonna sugarcoat this, friends. Space is cold. It's like crazy cold. The temperature of gaseous matter in space drops to around 3 Kelvin, which is 454 degrees below zero Fahrenheit and 270 below Celsius. Liquid nitrogen, for comparison, is about 77 degrees Kelvin. So yeah, space is cold, and NASA researchers want to make it even colder by launching a cold atom lab into the International Space Station in 2016. How cold? 100 pico Kelvin. That's one ten billionth of a degree below absolute zero. Absolute zero being where theoretically Theoretically, the activity of atoms stops. Other than science bragging rights, why would we want to do that? Well, supercooling matter does some pretty insane stuff to it. You might remember earlier this year when we talked about scientists slowing and almost effectively stopping light using a cloud of supercooled sodium. Atoms do weird things when they are cooled and slowed. Matter can be in two places at once. Objects act like particles and waves. Freaky freaky atom stuff. And aside from acting differently, slowing them means researchers can take precise measurements of very weak interactions that are impossible to see anywhere else. Once again, sounds rad. What do we get out of it? Well, a lot of knowledge about quantum mechanics, which is the study of what happens to light and matter on atomic scales. So if you're familiar with the term string theory, it's basically the theory of everything, figuring out the governing laws of the universe that we don't understand by observing things in a slower state and seeing how they change as they're cooled, researchers are hoping to find out how the universe works. There are more practical applications too, things like experiments and research into quantum computing, the next big leap in technology, thousands of times faster than conventional computers. On Earth, supercooling a quantum computer is crazy complicated and expensive. In space, it is cheaper and easier because microgravity makes it easy to cool materials to lower temperatures than would ever be possible on Earth. It's easier to trap gases in magnetic fields because the forces of gravity aren't acting on them as heavily as they do here. Now, the researchers even think they might be able to slow and assemble atomic waves. There are these groupings of supercooled gas atoms, and they would assemble them to be as wide as a human hair. Atoms in clusters big enough for the eye to see. Atomic waves that we can actually observe for ourselves. If this works, 2016 could be a very, very big year for the understanding of the universe. Man. See, here's the thing. I wouldn't even know what to put in a supercooled chamber. I would, like, put mostly sodas. I know sodas don't even work in space, but I am not terribly bright or imaginative, and I hate warm sodas. What would you do if you had a super cool cold atom lab? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.